говорих да е върлъсник казва. What is everlasting gospel? So, as you uh, hear uh, my message, you will realize what is uh, everlasting gospel. So, this morning, uh, I prepared a bunch of uh, flowers for you. So, if I give uh, a bunch of flowers. I want to give all to all of you. Thank you. Welcome all of you. Uh, this morning, I'd like to share uh, my topic is the world of seeds, physical sons and children of God. So, have you ever seen this kind, uh, this actor, very famous actor? He is a, a Sorin temple. Uh, he came from Sorin, uh, Sorin temple. Uh, he, uh, he is a very famous uh, composter or uh, Sorin uh, Matisher actor. So last May 19, I read one newspaper, so I saw his face like this. He got cancer, pancreatic, pancreatic uh, cancer, so he changed, changed the, uh, totally different. He was a very sundor, he was a very uh, nice guy, but he changed like this. He's getting more old and old. So uh, when I uh, see uh, when I saw this picture, uh, I afraid. I was afraid because this is our future. <coughs> Have you ever seen this picture? Yes. Yeah. This picture, uh, one uh, Netherlands artist wrote uh, this picture. Uh, you know, in Europe, uh, some of group uh, draw, they are drawing like this, this, this kind of uh, pictures. Why they uh, put in uh, skeleton and candlestick, old books like this? Do you have ever think, uh, have ever thought uh, this kind of uh, picture, why they draw uh, this kind of skeleton, old woods, and candlestick. So, you know, uh, skeleton meaning is the parasol symbol of life. When they draw in their uh, picture, they draw always skeleton. Why they drew uh, skeleton? Skeleton meaning is a parasol symbol of life. Someday we'll be changed, totally changed like this. Don't you think so? Yeah. After 30 years or 40 years, we'll be like this. So candlestick of that meaning is infinite of time. And all of candlestick will be up. It's because the infinite of time is short. The old book, colossal books, symbol, the infinitude of knowledge. Yeah, ten years. Yeah, we even we have a, uh, we have a very good view on knowledge, but after one year or ten years, all of now knowledge will be old things. So that's why they draw the uh, chorus books, old books. Uh, this 
message, this picture message is all is vanity. All is vanity. That's why they thought memory, uh, memento mori. Memento mori meaning is, memento mori meaning is, uh, remember to die. Memento meaning is, remember. Mori meaning is to die. So they are teaching this kind of message, memento mori. You know, even though you are living uh, in this world, but don't forget, remember to die someday. So we should, we should not forget all these planets. Also remember to die. You know, uh, these are two, you can see the two pictures. One is a Korean wedding ceremony. One thing is Bangalore uh, wedding ceremony. So, uh, what is the main duty of marriage? What is the main duty? What is main duty of marriage? So, you know, times when you read of times character, horn, uh, we are calling marriage meaning as honey. But uh, Chinese character, if we interpret, create a uh, Chinese character about horn, you can see that uh, this is a uh, meaning is female. This meaning is female. This one is uh, C. C. C meaning is male C. Male C. This one is a uh, uh, not if, if is a big. Yeah, if we interpret about home, marriage means that the day of a woman receives seeds, descendants from the husband. Home meaning, home meaning, marriage meaning is, meaning is that the day of a woman receives seeds, descendants from the husband. Uh, you know, uh, when our courier have a uh, wedding ceremony, have, have, a, have a wedding ceremony, so after finish the wedding ceremony, they have a special ceremony like this. Their parents, uh, when bride and bridegroom hold their crown, uh, then the parents throw the uh, Chestnuts and jujubes. Do you know uh, chestnuts and jujubes? Jujubes? Chestnuts. Yeah. Uh, this one is chestnut, this one is jujube. So this meaning is children. This meaning is children. So children are blessing meaning. Yeah, they uh, throw the chestnuts and jujube, many jujube and chestnuts. Why they throw the uh, jujube and uh, chestnuts? Yeah, their parents, yeah, their parents want to get many, uh, many children. That's why they throw the uh, chestnuts and jujube. So this is a very blessed meaning. So, you know, uh, but we have one problem. Even though we have many children, even though we have many children, we have one problem. What kind of problem? Even though you're, you have many seeds and your descendants, all of our children will be die, die someday. That's why we program our physical seed, physical descendants have a one big problem. All of children will be die. So John 6 and 16, uh, Bible said, Jesus said, the spirit gives life. 
for flesh comes from nothing. Jesus said, our flesh, macho, our macho is nothing for, uh, for nothing. The flesh comes for nothing. Even though you, are, you became a very successful person, but you will be nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, well, when you read the uh, uh, Bible, Genesis chapter 5 and verse 5, although Adam lived 9, 30 years, and then he died, Adam's, uh, Adam said is Adam's son, son of uh, Adam. But, said, lived, how many years he lived? 912 years. And then he died. Uh, he says to us, uh, how many years do you want to live afterward? Until how many years do you want to live for? Uh, 100 years? Okay. How many years remaining? Are you remaining? How many years? Uh, you are, you are, 53. What is photo? 55 years. You, live, you are remaining 45 years. After 45 years, you, you will be dying. So, Mrs. Douglas lived 100 years and then she died. Yeah, our history we write this kind of story. We are very sad. That's why God counts, uh, the flesh counts uh, for nothing. Okay? All human beings, flesh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 2, vanity of vanities, say the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanities. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yeah, all is vanity. Even though you have many things, but after 40 years, 30 years, you will be nothing. So don't we have a solution to live in eternal life? So flesh counts for nothing, worthless and useless. But we don't have any solution to live in eternal life. What is the solution? Of our problem. Okay, we have only one solution. Very solution. First Corinthians 15, verse 17. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. This is our only hope. Why? Because Jesus Christ raised from the dead. Christ Jesus is our Savior. Second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 10. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior. Christ Jesus who had destroyed them and had brought life and mortality to life through the gospel. What did Jesus Christ do in this world? Jesus Christ has destroyed death and has brought life and mortality. That's why we have a only hope through the, our Savior Jesus Christ. He did for the death.
that of abolishing and has grown like a mortality. Jesus Christ has came for destroy the devil. You know, he wrote chapter 2, verse 14. Since the children have flesh and blood, Jesus Christ to share in their humanity. So that by his death he might destroy him who holds power of them. There is David. As you know, Satan. Satan holds the power of them. But God won't destroy. God won't destroy the Satan who the power of them. Uh, hold, holds the power of them. Uh, you know, David and Satan, the Bible said that Asian servant poorly David who are Satan, who lead the world, who work astray. That Asian servant poorly the David who are Satan, who lead the whole world astray. That's why we are deceived by Satan. Satan led the whole world as well. So, you know, Jesus Christ said, John chapter 8, 44, you belong to your father, the devil. Yeah, Jesus said, all of your father, who is our father? Satan. We belong, we belong to your father, David. We became uh, children of Satan, peaceful sons. But if you accept Jesus Christ, you will be become children of God. And you want to carry out your father's desire, your Satan's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native, native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. You know, See the two pictures here. Jesus used this word, uh, John chapter 3, 14. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. So why Jesus said, Jesus, Jesus said, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. Uh, you know, this picture of snake, uh, God wants to teach special message because number 21, verse 9, that when anyone was bitten by a snake and rock, Look at look at the broad, broad snake. He lived. Yeah, when Israel people were beaten by a snake, when they look at the uh, broad snake, they lived. This uh, story symbol of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said that everyone who believes in Him, Jesus Christ, may have eternal life. Uh, Jesus Christ compared to a simple, to a story. Uh, the broad snake uh, testified about Jesus Christ. If we believe Jesus Christ, God will give Whoever, whoever believes in Jesus Christ 
may have eternal life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay? Please look at the Jesus Christ as your personal seed. God will give eternal life. You know, uh, Luke chapter 20, 36. And they can no longer die, for they are like the angels. They are God's children, since they are children of the resurrection. Who is the children of God? They are children of the, of, of the resurrection. We will be children of the resurrection. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? So, thank you. Yeah, we will be children of the resurrection. So, John chapter 6, 40. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son, Christ, and believes in Him shall have eternal life. And I will raise Him up, raise Him up at the last day. God promised this word of God. Titus, first chapter, uh, verse 2, of faith and knowledge lasting on the hope of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning, uh, beginning of time. God never does not lie. God promise always sincere. So someday we'll be we'll meet our uh, Savior Jesus Christ. At the time God will give eternal life. Whoever believes in him eternal life. Okay. So when I started my preaching, I showed her this picture. This picture of uh, thinking many things in my life. Someday we'll be like this. That's why Peter, First Peter, chapter one twenty-four, for all men are like grass. And all their glory is like the flowers of the field. He is a very famous actor, but his glory is like the flowers of, of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Some days, everything wither and fall. But Jesus' word of, word of love stands forever. If you believe Jesus Christ's word, you will be saved from last day. Thank you. God bless you. The Lord be with you.